Okay, uh, Jet Lawrence, Paris, a uh, pretty perfect weekend for you. Yesterday was maybe a little smoother than today, but you got the job done and with a nice margin as well. So a good weekend. Yeah, no, it's uh, it was a fun weekend yesterday. Definitely went a lot easier than today. Had a little tip over yesterday. Thankfully, no tip overs today. But um, today I was definitely tired from the late night. So the performance wasn't as quite good as last night. But I mean, it's still so fun here. I think the fans definitely gave me a lot more energy. Uh, had to have a cappuccino to help the helper uh, get some energy. But I mean, it's it's just a fun 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 round. It's also a fun round with having Hunter here and obviously new teammate Joe. It's uh, always good having Joe around. It's kind of like old memories with back on Geico. So it, it was uh, a great weekend. Maybe I imagined this, but I feel like your starts today were a lot worse than yesterday. So was that just because of uh, reaction time was maybe a bit slow? Uh, reaction times, uh, skill level probably at that point in time also. I mean, we're just kind of fudging it out the gate a little bit. We weren't like we're just trying to get out there, so <laughs> it was, um, yeah, definitely weren't as good today, but uh, I think I'm blaming jet lag. I'm going to say I'm, I'm putting my excuse on that. <laughs> I was going to say maybe, like, the grate is different and you have to adjust your start technique for that, but it worked yesterday, so. Yeah, you know, the different, the mesh, and I think uh, I had a different dream last night to the night before, so I think that also has a play in it a bit, like, there's, there's multiple excuses I could probably ramble on about right now, but I don't want to waste your time with my... <laughs> <laughs> excuses. Um, you raced Hunter a lot this weekend. When you're battling with him, is it harder because you don't want to piss him off or is it easier because you know you can piss him off and he's not going to do anything too bad to you? Well, no, if I piss him off, he still will punch me. It doesn't mean if I piss him off or not, he's going to hit me. So, um, yeah, mum's telling about language. Jeez. Uh, but no, it, it, it's fun racing with him. It's always good because you know it's going to be an exciting race and he's a smart racer, so it's always fun. Uh, like yesterday, I was able to go up the inside of him yesterday, and then today, I wasn't able to do the same. He, he, quick learner, so, um, but no, it's always fun racing against him. Obviously, you didn't mean to knock him down in the last race. When you looked back and realized that he did crash, was there a lap where you were just thinking like, oh shit, I can't believe I did that? Um, yeah, it was kind of like a, ooh, uh, I bet at least, I was, first, of, first thought was, ooh, what's Dazzy gonna think? Two, Hunter's gonna uppercut me, then the third, thought was all right I better win this <laughs> so it was kind of go 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 straight after at least try and win I got lucky with Kenny going down so um yeah then from then it was kind of just riding at home and make sure I sealed the deal with the win <laughs> um last thing is there anything that you learned this weekend about the bike or about yourself about how to race 450 supercross are you leaving here with one new bit of knowledge that's quite a big deal yeah I could definitely tell you going this only 13 minutes on those things already hard enough with how much motor how much motorcycle that thing is but um there's plenty of other things that i've learned uh gonna go back and work on them and and try and get better but it's definitely a fun learning experience because it wasn't like there was a whole lot of pressure on the line it was just a fun off-season race and it really was